While there are many different procedures used to correct ptosis, I'm going to discuss two of the most common. The first is called an external levator resection and functional blepharoplasty. This surgery is used to correct droopy eyelids caused by aging. It is typically performed in the surgery center but can also be done in the office in select cases. Either way, it is same-day surgery. If the surgery is being done in the operating room, it is done under sedation and not general anesthesia. At a certain point, the surgeon will likely have the anesthesia staff wake you up to make sure the eyelids are even, and then you'll go back to sleep. An incision in the, is made in the eyelid crease so that any scar that forms will be hidden in the crease. The extra skin and fat is then removed and one or more stitches are placed in the muscle of the upper eyelid to raise it. Finally, the skin is stitched closed. There's usually no pain afterward, but something can be written for pain just in case. You will probably be out of commission for two days and then it's back to normal life except no exercise for a week. The area will likely bruise and swell, and this can be covered by sunglasses or makeup. Risks of surgery include bleeding and infection anytime you have surgery on the body. There is a 1 in 10,000 case that the patient can lose vision from the surgery, which is extremely rare. And finally, there is about a 10% chance of asymmetry in the post-op period. This can be corrected in the first few weeks after surgery. However, the vast majority of patients who undergo these treatments report greatly improved quality of life after having them done. The upper eyelid procedure can also be done as a cosmetic procedure if the droopy eyelids are not blocking vision, but the patient is bothered by the appearance of the eyelids. The second approach to ptosis repair that I will discuss today involves operating from the inside of the eyelid using a procedure called a mullerectomy. This approach works well for patients who have a neurologic cause of their ptosis, something known as Horner's syndrome. At the initial visit, your doctor will place an eye drop called phenylephrine in the eye to see if the eyelid elevates. If it does, you are a good candidate for this type of surgery. Just like the first approach, this procedure can either be done in the surgery center, under sedation, or in the office under local anesthesia. Either way, the surgery is same day. The upper eyelid is flipped over and a clamp is placed on the undersurface of the eyelid. A dissolvable stitch is then woven back and forth under the clamp and the extra tissue under the eyelid is removed with fine scissors. This procedure can be combined with excess skin removal from the outside of the eyelid if this needs to be addressed as well. Just like with the first procedure, you will probably be out of commission for two days and then it's back to normal life except no exercise for a week. The area will likely bruise and swell and this can be covered by sunglasses or makeup and the risks are the same. Thank you so much.